Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new, what is up? What is up? If you're not new, welcome on back. Um, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Let's get started. So, first things first, y'all. Um, seems like SZA will be performing at the Scammies this year. Okay. Um, the Scammies takes place tomorrow. Um, you know, they're gonna be on there, you know, giving out these fraudulent ass awards, these pay for awards by certain labels. You know, they're gonna be up there doing a whole lot of you know foolery and fraudery. Okay, so you know, that's just the it's gonna be a big old fraud fest tomorrow. Um, but anyway, um, during the fraud fest, we're gonna be having SZA, you know, gracing the stage. She's gonna be performing a medley of her hits, Kill Bill Snooze. And guess what, y'all? SZA fans stand up. You're going to be getting a new unreleased track tomorrow on that stage. Yep. Saturn. Okay. Uh, I, now, I'm not going to lie. I thought she, like, scrapped all her entire new tracks. So y'all leaked it. Y'all really, But, okay, no shade. She did say y'all leaked it, right? But I never heard any of the songs. So maybe that was a PR stunt, too. Because no shade, SZA. She was saying, oh, y'all leaked my music. Y'all leaked, 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 leaked my music. But I never heard none of them fucking songs. And my ears be in the streets like shit. So I think that was a PR stunt just to make us, like... I don't know, like, I don't know. She be, she, she be lying. She's a fucking liar. Um, but she will be on stage, hopefully. Hopefully she ain't lying about that. Um, but yes, y'all, what's your opinion on that? Um, congratulations, SZA, on your solo Grammy performance. Because last time you was up there with the Grammys and shit, you was with Doja Cat. Now you got your own little moment, your own little spotlight, your own little one, two, one, two. Um, so congratulations. You know, you deserve it. Great year, great year. Um, let's pray she actually wins. Okay, let's move on to this next topic. The girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. I repeat, okay? Now, as of recently, Ice Spice, she went on to her um, Twitter spaces. You know, Twitter spaces is basically like, you know, Instagram Live, but except it's on Twitter and you don't have a camera. So you're just talking to your fans in live action. So cool, 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 cool. Um, she gets on the Twitter spaces and, you know, she basically was just explaining how the song Thank You This Shit Fart came about. And um, she mentioned how, like, oh, Lotto had put me in the back of her uh video snippet her week snippet um and she was just like you know what's going on what's going on so basically ice spice was being very direct about the fact that lotto was up here trying to start beef with her now i'm not gonna lie to you lotto definitely be always trying to start fake beef with bitches like why are you up here like why am i in the back of your snippet video okay and then she's purposely put her in the back of the snippet at a certain part just because she wants to be messy okay now, me personally, though, I feel like Ice Spice, I'm glad she was direct as hell. She was really direct. On the other hand, Latte Frappe, um, she had to subliminally put the music video in the back and then just say something. Like, that was some weird corny shit. You know, you like, you know, if you're going to be shady with it, make sure it's actually, like, you know, cute. But instead, you just promoted her entire music video by putting it in the back of your damn snippet. So you look goofy as hell. Um, I definitely tuned into the music video because I wanted to know what music video that was. So now that gave Ice Spice more streams, more views, more clicks. Thank you. Um, now, in my opinion personally, though, everybody's saying, oh, Ice Spice is saying Lotto's snippet was weak. What you mean it was weak? You know, you can't rap, bitch. You can't rap. Um, okay, Ice Spice can't rap. No shade. Like, she can, like, get on the track and do a little one, too. But, okay, let's be real. Lotto can, like rap better than Ice Spice. I'm not going to be like delusional. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be the Lulu. But if we're talking about like, you know, popularity, Ice Spice got that for sure. Um, so I'm not mad that she called it a weak snippet. I mean, the snippet to me was weak, but can Ice Spice rap? Like, like, you know, like her actual, no, she can't. Um, but then again, Lotto can't rap either because she uses Ghostwriters and we heard it on the big energy. So it's just, it's just a lot of just fuckery going on. Um, a lot of fraudery going on. Um, and me personally, the girls are fighting every second now. You know, it's going to get to a certain point where Beyonce is arguing on Twitter with Brianna tomorrow. You never know how that shit may go. You know, it's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Uh, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Let's talk about this down below in the comment section. All right, let's move on to this next topic, okay? As you all may or may not know, Nicki Minaj is nominated for a Grammy, okay? And the Grammy nomination is with Ice Spice for Barbie World. Um, and... Fans are speculating that Nicki Minaj may be making her appearance at the Grammys this year. Um, Ice Spice recently has said, I cannot wait to see Nicki Minaj at the Grammys on Spaces. So people are speculating and wondering, will she be at the Grammys, aka the Scammies? Um, now, personally, I don't want her near any of that fuckery, fraudery bullshit of a Scammy show. I don't want her near none of that, okay? if she, like, I'd rather have her be at the BET Awards than be at the Scammies. And y'all know what the BET Awards did, okay? Y'all know what the BET Awards did. Uh-uh, stay home. Stay home. I, personally, I feel like Nicki needs to go on a little hiatus until tour, okay?
Okay. These people have been getting graced with her presence too much. I don't know. I think she needs to go on hiatus until tour. Okay. Because I just need my, I need, I need, I need her to just be in that tour mode. Okay. I don't want her seen anywhere else. I want her to just pop out on tour. Boom. Okay, making a million dollars a night on tour type shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know the, the Twitter games is cool. You know the you know the, 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 the Grammys. Cool, uh, cool. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's time for Nikki to you know eat bitches up. You know by pulling in multi million dollar nights on tour. I I can't wait to see those stats. Okay, you know we can. You know you know what I'm saying. So hey, I'm not really pressed for her to be at no damn fraudery fest. Um, she can stay home for that and you know cook a meal and relax. Okay. And work on her tour, you know, because y'all forgetting, like, she's going on tour. A lot of people don't understand, like, you know, tour is, like, where the coin is. Y'all so used to, oh, my song went number one. Okay, bitch, well, how much money did you make from that? Uh, okay, exactly. And y'all know who I'm talking about, too, okay? Because when that song is not on the Billboard Hot 100 next week, please do not be shocked. Please do not be shocked. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just not trying to get that song any more promo than it already has gotten. I promise you. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on, moving on, y'all. Seems like Chloe and Hallie... Um, Chloe has been out here spilling all the damn beans. Um, she is basically saying that people get ready. All right. Chloe Bailey tells people that the projects the duo are working on have a lot of meaning behind them. Halle Bailey says that fans should expect new music, more projects, and more of Chloe and Halle, the duo, in 2024. Okay. Now, when, I, when we say 2024, let's not hope it's December 2024. Because by then, I won't care. Well, okay, I'll still care. But by then, I'll be pissed off. Okay. I think I need to release this next album. Um, springtime, summertime. I need a nice, you know, soothing spring hit, you know? And the girls don't really have that many hits together. Like, no shade. They got the song Do It. What else they got? Do It. Um, okay, that's really the main, main hit. But they need more hits. So we need y'all to get a cool little summertime bop, all right? And yeah, and we're going to eat it up every time. We're going to eat it up every time. But I do think that um, Chloe and Halle, they know what they're doing, hopefully. Um, I do kind of feel like Beyonce is kind of, I'm not going to say Beyonce herself, but I feel like Parkwood is kind of holding them back a little bit. Um, I don't know. I just kind of feel like that a little bit in my body, a little bit in my... Well, no, I will lie. Chloe is being held back by Parkwood the most, okay? Because the way that um, album rollout was, the way that thing went, the way she... Like, it was... Oof. That was depressing. I, that that would have sent me to a depressive episode. Because, like, imagine you work so hard on your album, work so hard on your, like, you know, your baby, and then, like, it just sells less than 10,000 units in a week. All right, y'all, moving on. Let's get into it. It seems like people are speculating that Drake, okay, is allegedly shading Nikki. Um, that's the world on the street. You know, every day is a new world on the street. Um, now, let's get into what he said. So he recently posted a picture um, with a caption that said, the rap game will never be at peace. There will always be competition, and as long as there's competition, there will never be peace. Everyone wants to be the one, Okay. And as you all may or may not know, Nicki Minaj calls herself the queen. She is the queen. And they feel like he's just throwing shots at Nicki. Um, now, me personally, I don't know. The timing is just really weird, you know, after what's going on between, you know, Nicki and you know who. It's just the timing is weird. And he does move weird. And I'm not, that's why I always look at him differently. Because he always moves like a snake. Okay. Um, he just moves like a snake. Okay. And also. He never promotes Nicki's stuff on his... Like, he never does any promotion for anything. Like, you literally was on her album, and we we have not heard you talk about this album at all publicly. And we've heard literally almost everybody else talk about the album who's been on the album, and you're up here mute as fuck. Like, you're just weird. Really, really weird. I don't know. Um, but for many reasons, you know, I don't know. I just think it's, he's really, really weird. I think, I think he is shade Nicki. I think he feels like Nicki um, shouldn't want to be the best or shouldn't, you know have that hunger to be fighting for the number one spot you know i don't know i just think that he is trying to just you know downplay her a little bit i don't know that's just my personal opinion let's move on to this next topic okay jt um sideways by jt debuts with three hundred and four thousand streams in the first day of its release um she's been getting dragged for this online but y'all chill um i love this for her because um i've always said jt needs to leave city girl jt needs to put out her solo music and she's actually doing it um and i love it i love it. i love it i love it for her okay um, so I'm really proud of her. Um, now, me personally, I do feel like, um, you know, I definitely do feel like Sideways, to me, is better than No Bar. Mm, yeah, it kind of is. Um, but JT be doing her big one. Um, but listen, though, to those people who are clowning her, saying her streams ain't da-da-da-da-da-da, listen, okay? JT is basically 
restarting an entire music career. You know, when you're not with a group anymore, you have to kind of get that own, you know, your own two feet again. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because when you're in a group, you're using one foot and, you know, the other person using their other foot. And it's just, you know, okay, you have two feet, but, you know, you're not really doing all the work. You know, when you're doing a song, you do one verse, they do another verse. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? She basically has to hold up her weight all the way around. And she's doing pretty good. Congratulations, JT. Sideways is my song. Hello, so funny. Got me looking at him sideways. Definitely go ahead and tune in if you really rock with JT or whatever. Um, but if you already rock with her, I'm pretty sure you already tuned into it. So let me know your opinion on it down below if you tuned in. Let's move on. Let's talk about this. All right, y'all. That's all I got for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Okay. And tap the bell. All right. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Be safe.